How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the content on here if you're wanting to learn how to stream. If you're enjoying that content, definitely subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. So today's video, we are going to be doing a quick navigation walkthrough of Streamlabs OBS. But before we do that, we got to make sure that you guys actually download and install it. So if you go to streamlabs.com or if you do like Streamlabs OBS uh, type of search in Google, you'll be able to get this type of web page when you open it. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll throw this into the video description below. That way you guys just click on it and you guys can go and install it. Once you have it installed, though, this is what you're going to be presented with. So I'm just going to quickly go over to different areas on here. That way you guys kind of can see what the actual software has to offer. But in later videos, I'm going to be breaking down each section a little bit more in detail. That way you guys can understand what you can do with those different areas. So first things first, you want to log into it. So if you go over to the very top right hand corner here, you see login. If you click on that, it's going to give you different things you can log in with. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly log in. So I'll be right back. All right. So now that I'm logged in, you can see up here that it shows the name of the account that you logged into. So now that you're logged in, what we're going to look at here is what we call your canvas. So this black box is your canvas. Over here are your scenes. Scenes are everything you're going to pretty much populate. So you're going to have different ones. And we're going to create them later on in the series. Your sources is all the information you throw into those scenes. Your mixer area over here is going to be where you're going to see like all your audios and everything like that. Right now I have my desktop audio muted. So if you ever see a slash going through something, that means it's muted. And just a rule of thumb, anytime you have any type of like audio or anything like that, you want to make sure that it doesn't peek into the red. If it stays in the yellow, that should be okay. Just make sure it doesn't peek into the red. So if you go into, if you go into here, this is where all of your sources are going to be. So the way I got to that was I clicked on the little plus icon and this is going to bring up all of your sources if you click on the plus icon by sources. So that way you can be able to see all this. If you click on the gear next to mixer, it's going to bring you to your advanced audio options. If you go back up to where it shows the login or where your name is, and you see that gear there, this will bring you to all of your settings. And we're going to go through each and every one of these in separate videos. That way you can get a very good understanding about what each of them do. Over here is going to be for your help if you need help for anything. If you have the face mask settings, which we'll get into later, you have studio mode, which allows you to show everything that's going live here, but maybe you want to make a quick edit before you have everybody else see it. And that's something you can do over here on studio mode. If you want to have it on night mode, or if you want to have it on day mode, I personally like night mode. It's easier on the eyes for your live area. This is going to be showing everything about you know who's subscribed to you who has hosted you followed donated anything like that so you'll be able to see all that there if you do giveaways you got your editor which is what we're on right now themes is going to be where you can get overlays app store we'll get into later cloud bot is the streamlabs obs type bot and then your dashboard this is where you're going to be able to see all the different things that's going on, like how to get alert boxes, how to add in widgets, your merch store, if you have a merch store. And you know, there's, there's so much information that we can go over into here. But I don't want to overwhelm you guys with way too much information. But that is your very quick navigation on, on all that. Now, when you are ready to go live... You can do two things. You can either record it and test things out and see how everything sounds. Make sure all your audio and everything is good. Make sure everything plays okay. If you are good to go, you can click on go live and then it's going to pull up your information. But that's after you have all your settings and your overlays and everything how you want it to be. Down over here is going to be some good information for you to understand, which we'll also go over later on as well. So let's go ahead and move on through the next part of the series. We're going to start talking about your sources.